हेलो एवरी वन आई एम रितिका चुजकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आई टी डिपार्टमेंट सो इन द कोर्स ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वी डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिट थ्री सो यूनिट थ्री इज बेस्ड ऑन नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड रीजनिंग वेयर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड अनादर पॉइंट इज द टेक्निक्स ऑफ नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन वेल फॉर्म फॉर्मूला पोस्ट प्रपोजिशन लॉजिक प्री ऑर्डर लॉजिक फर्स्ट ऑर्डर लॉजिक प्रेडिकेट लॉजिक्स रीजनिंग टाइप्स ऑफ रीजनिंग देन रूल ऑफ इन्फरसेस ओके देन द प्रोबेबिलिटी कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी अगेन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट इज द बाइजन थेरम ऑल्सो एंड द बायस नेटवर्क ऑल्सो बाइजन नेटवर्क ऑल्सो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेमस्टर स्ट्रेफर थेरी दैट इज डी एस टी सो लेट इज डिस्कस हियर so what dems uh, dempster uh, shepherd theory was given by arthur p dempster in uh, 1967 and his student glen shepherd in the 1976 so this theory was released because of uh, two reasons the first is the bison theory is only concerned about single evidences and the bison probability cannot be described ignorance ओके सो दिस बाइजन प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड बाइजन नेटवर्क वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो यू कैन सी द प्रीवियस लेक्चर ओके सो दिस टेम्सपर शाफर थेरी इज एन इविडेंस थेरी सो इट कंबाइंस ऑल द पॉसिबल आउटकम्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम सो हेन्स इट इज यूज टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स वेर देर मे बी द चांस दैट अ डिफरेंट इविडेंस lead to the some different result so this rule is a combination uh, combination is a sometimes interpreted and as an approximate the generalization of the bias rule okay so we already discussed about the bias bias rule also okay so you can also check the previous video related to the bias theorem so this belief in a hypothetical is calculated as the summation of all the masses of all the subset of the hypothesis theory and the value of the belief gives a lower bound on its probability so the uncertainty in the model is given by okay so here we discuss about the reasoning under uncertainty okay so all these things are the part of uncertainty that is conditional probability bias rule bayesian belief network and dems for shaffer theory also and non monotonic reasoning also so the these all the things are under the uncertainty okay so the uncertainty in this model is given by the three parts that is the first is a consider all the possible outcomes first we have to consider all the possible outcomes then belief will lead to belief in some possibility by bringing out some evidence okay it means what is this supposed to mean and the last thing is the plausibility will make the evidence compatible with the possible outcomes so this dems for sherry theory consider the fact that the observation or the correct belief can be made out by no one degree of final belief but it consider an interval defined as a belief and plausibility okay so see here there is a, all the possible outcomes okay so among these outcomes we will uh, we have the evidence supporting part and based on the evidence against part so in between we have the uncertainty interval okay so this uncertainty interval is defined by the belief and the plausibility okay so here the the degree of correct observation lies between 0 to 1 according to the range of this interval okay according to the range of this interval 0 to 1 and this belief is made on a certain facts that are considered to be the true and the plausibility is based on the value of the belief okay so plausibility means what here one minus belief negation of s okay here belief is a negation of s so one minus belief is what our plausibility and the third thing is the value of the interval defines the 
डेमस्टर शेपर रेंज फ्रॉम जीरो अनसर्टिनिटी टू द वन सर्टन ओके जीरो इज अनसर्टिनिटी एंड वन इज अटन सर्टिनिटी ओके सो इन बिट्वीन दिस इंटरवल दैट इज जीरो टू वन और दैट इज इन बिट्वीन अनसर्टिनिटी टू द सर्टिनिटी वी विल वी विल गेट द डेमस्टर शेपर रेंज एंड दैट मीन फोर पॉइंट इज when the value of a belief on some observation is a s that belief negation of s is a 1 s is what here zero negation of s is what here one so the plausibility is zero and it's one otherwise okay so see here let us consider one example so here the room where the four people are present a b c and d so suddenly the lights go out and when the light come back the b has been stabbed in the back by a nurse and leading to his death so no one come into the room and no one left the room so we know that b has not committed suicide so now we have to find out the murder is who is a murder is okay so this is our problem statement we have a four people suddenly the light goes out and when the light comes back the b has been stabbed in the back by a knife leading to his death so no one come into the room and no one left the room so we know that b has not committed suicide so we know we have to find out the who is a murderer okay so to solve these आ दीज देर आर द पॉसिबल फॉलोइंग पॉसिबिलिटीज ओके कौन सी पॉसिबिलिटीज यहाँ पे हो सकते हैं आइदर ए और सी और डी हैज़ किल्ड ही ओके आइदर ए एंड सी और सी एंड डी और ए एंड सी हैव किल्ड ही और द थ्री ऑफ देम हैव किल्ड हिम इट इज ए सी एंड डी सो नन ऑफ देम हैव किल्ड हिम दैट इज जीरो लेट से वी हैव टू कंसिडर यर जीरो सो there will be the possible evidences by which we can find out the murderer by the measure of plausibility measure of the plausibility so using this uh, example we can say that there is a set of possible conclusion that is p is equal to p1 p2 up to the pn there are number of conclusions okay possible conclusions so where p is a set of possible conclusion and cannot be exhaustive that is at least one p is must be true exhaustive means what at least one p jo hoga wo true hona chahiye okay so p of i must be mutually exclusive mutually exclusive so power set will contain the two raised to n elements where n is the number of elements in the possible set so we have a number of elements here and we have to find out the possible conclusion among this number of sets so two raised to n element where n is the number of elements in the possible set for example if a p is equal to abc okay abc then power set is given as two raised to 3 there are total three number of elements so we have to find out two raised to 3 possibilities the first is a zero then a b c a b b c a c and a b c d so we have two raised to 3 that means total eight number of possibilities zero one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight number of possibilities okay so similarly in this example we have the eight number of possibilities so by using this lens for shefer theory we can uh, find out the different possibilities okay so we have the uh, so we have uh, the plausibility is there will be the possible evidences by which we can find out the measure of the plausibility okay so same here the number set of possible conclusions a b sorry a c and d so we have to find out the Two raised to three elements. So we have a. Uh, in this example, we have a, c, and d. Okay. So, so this is a Dempster-Shapur theory. So in this Dempster-Shapur theory, we have a mass functions. Then the, we have the belief in k and plausibility in k. 
so how to find out the mass function first okay so see here we have to find out the plausibility okay then belief in net net and find out the mass so it is so what is the mass function m of k it is an interpretation of m of k or b that is it means that if is a evidence for k or b which cannot be divided among the more specific beliefs for k and b so belief in k means the belief in k element k of a power set is the sum of masses of elements which are subset of k so this can be explained through an example so let us say k is equal to abc and the belief in k is what m of a m of b m of c then m of a comma b plus m of a comma c plus m, m of a b comma c and the m of a comma b comma c that is the mass so the what is the belief in k the sum of masses of elements sum of masses of elements so masses of a masses of b masses of c and this to uh, to the all the set possible set a comma b a comma c b comma c and a b c so where we get the belief in k and the last thing is the plausibility in the k so it is the sum of masses of set that intersect with k that intersect with the k so here we have to find out the plausibility m of a plus m of b plus m of c plus a, m of a comma b plus m of b comma c plus m of a comma c plus m of a comma b comma c okay intercept with the k sum of masses of set that intercept with the k so this is a plausibility in the k so 1 minus belief where we get the plausibility okay but here we are uh, using the set of intercept with the k so all these values are as it is for the uh, plausibility in the k okay because here the sum of masses of set that intersect with k so for the k what are the values are intersecting a also b also and c also so all these values are as it is here okay if i am considering the one minus belief that means if they if i am using here uh, if i am not using here c only the a and b are used okay so here the possibilities are we are we are not using m of c here we are not using b of b comma c we are not using m of a comma c and we are not using the c here only a comma b so we have to find out the plausibility with respect to the uh, a and b only because here the intercept with k values are a and b okay but in this example we have the intercept with k that is a also b also and c also so all these values are uh, show show out here okay also b also c then combination of ab b c a c and the last is a a comma b comma c and the next thing is a characteristics of demonstrator shaffer theory so it will ignore us part such that the probability of all the events aggregate to one what it uh, what is the supposed to mean then second thing is ignorance is reduced in this theory by adding more and more evidences we have to add more and more uh, k number of evidences okay n number of evidences and third thing is the combination rule is used to combine the various types of possibility okay combination of all this we have to we, we will get the types of possibilities number of possibilities next is the advantages and disadvantages so as we add the more information uncertainty interval reduces okay jitne number of information we add karenge uncertainty interval utni reduce hoti jayegi okay utna hum एविडेंस प्रॉपरली मैंशन कर पाएंगे या फिर कलेक्ट कर पाएंगे सो डी एस टी हैज़ अ मच लोअर लेवल ऑफ इग्नोरेंस डायग्नोस द हिरारकीज कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड यूजिंग दिस एंड द पर्सन डीलिंग विद सच प्रॉब्लम इज अ फ्री टू थिंक अबाउट द एविडेंस एंड वॉट इज द डिसएडवाटेज हियर सो इन दिस कॉम्पिटिशन इफर्ट 
is high so as we have to deal with the 2 raised to n offsets okay jitne number of hamare paas elements honge uske liye hame kya karna hai possibilities ko check karna hai तो अगर हमारे पास ज़्यादा नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स होंगे सो कंपटेशनल भी हमें ज़्यादा लगेगा एफर्ट ज़्यादा लगेंगे सो दिस इज़ अ डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस डेमस्टर शेफर थ्री थैंक यू